Okay, guys. Good afternoon, evening, should I say? It's after 5 p.m. Uh, here, at custom corpses, DJ Styles. Okay, we're gonna demold this bad boy right now. Okay, what I had to do? I didn't film this, but I hammered out around the edges, right where the rubber is. So there's the mold. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to break this free from the mold, get the ears out, got to get the face out, and I'm turning away from you, I don't want to do that, I'm going to try to stay on camera here. Now this is where the chin is, right here, this area right here, so I've got to get up underneath of that chin and i got to pull that face out of there. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a little tough getting this out of here. That's all right. Get the ears out. All right, now I'm going to get my hands in here and really pull this apart. See how it's coming out of there? It's coming out. It just really does kind of work on the deformity. There we go. There it is. That's the mold. Now I got to get in there and make sure all the there's no imperfections, any kind of little holes that are in there, like I showed you in the other video, how you repair them very lightly. First, I'm going to blow this thing out with my air compressor. I can see it's dark inside of it. That means the mold's still kind of wet. Yes, no holes where the chin is. I'm going to have to double check. I'm going to stick a little mirror in there with a flashlight. With a flashlight, I need like a dental mirror to get up in there and take a look inside to that chin area up in here, underneath. And that's where the chin is. This is where the eyes are right here, the nose. It all looks pretty good. I need a light to get in there to really check it good though. See one hole that I have to repair here. Looks like there's a little chunk of something here. No biggie. Uh, yeah, it looks good, guys. check for imperfections but I need a flashlight because I need to get inside of that and really examine the inside of that mold um, especially into the ear area uh, you know make sure there's no holes no rough spots I don't feel any feeling good there's a couple spots that I have to I have to fix but nothing real massive nothing nothing too bad yes sir Looking good. Mm-hmm. So. 
That's it. That's the demolding. That's how simple it is. You just demold it. And uh, now I'll get about 20 pulls. In other words, I'll get 20 masks out of that, that mold. Get 20 masks out of there, and then I'll start losing details. The fine details, like, like in here, you see where the, uh, the night creeper and all that stuff? You start losing those details because each time you make put latex in there, you have to spray this down and wet it so you don't get any air bubbles. So with that being said, that's pretty much it. I do feel some weird stuff going on here. I don't know what the heck that's about, but we're going to have to dremel that out. I have to do it with a mirror, though. Got to get a mirror in there to, to really get that right. Holes are easy to fix, but when you got something sticking up, like right here, there's this little piece right there sticking up. I have to sand that down. I have to get that off of there because that creates a hole in your mask. You end up with a hole in the mask instead of the opposite. So, but that's it, guys. Uh, you guys have a great day. This, uh, this is done. I want to make sure it cures thoroughly first before I mess with anything on the inside of this. Because it still looks, you see how it's got patchy dark spots and light spots? You want that all nice and white, nice and hardened. The only way I'm going to do that is by leaving this out overnight, make sure it dries thoroughly, and then from there I will do the fixing. And uh, yeah, that's it. That is it. That is the finished. That'll be the, the small version of the Night Creeper 1978. And then I'll be putting latex in this thing probably tomorrow after I clean the imperfections and fix the mold, get the little tiny bubbles. Actually, that's not a bubble. It must have been something that was sticking up on the mask and I didn't realize it. But I gotta get a little, I gotta get my little dental mirror out and take a look into the chin and make sure there's no um, little, like you can't feel that little hole there. I'm rubbing my finger across it. I can't feel that, but it's there. And I'm sure I'm going to have the same issue up underneath this chin. Maybe. I hope not. I hope I got all the little uh, bubbles out. But even if the bubbles are there and I can't really reach them, all it's going to do is create a little bit of a, a, a piece of latex sticking out. And all you got to do is cut it off, a little sanding with your Dremel, and knocks out that imperfection. Pretty simple on your mask, but... I like to eliminate those kind of little imperfections in the mold. This way I don't have to constantly work, uh, do work to the mask. I don't want to do that. It's, it's a done package here. You just spend a little extra time on your mold uh, and you won't have to uh, spend that time on your mask. You'll pull that mask out of there and right away ready for paint, ready for, you know, herring the whole nine yards. So... So I'm going to leave it up on its side like this overnight so the air can get into it. As a matter of fact, the air is coming across right here, so I'll leave it open so the air gets right into the hole. All right, peace, guys. Love you all. Have a good day. Have a great night. Great rest of the week.